Hello everyone, this is Sorry Match D. Welcome to the final installment of the last Minecrafter series, War Between Worlds. A few months have passed since the events of Minecraft destruction. The chosen crafters have gone into hiding in different locations throughout the real world. One particular crafter has made a home in Georgia. Alright, I got everything set up for the defense systems, said Sorry. Are you sure you know what you're doing? <clears throat> Soren's counterpart looked up from the monitors. Yes, he said. This place was abandoned long ago. If done correctly, I'm sure we can link up the defense systems and communicate with the others. They turned on the machine. To their amazement, it worked. The monitors lit up, showing where their friends were. Rage and his counterpart are in Iowa. Soren's counterpart stated, They're in a bunker. I'm going to reach out to them. They made a call to them. Rage here, said a voice. Who is this? Rage, said Soren. It's Soren Majesty, with my counterpart. The monitor came into focus. Soren? Rage exclaimed. By the Minecraft gods. It's been a couple of months. How did you guys figure out where we were? Due to us going into hiding, Soren's counterpart said. I figured Iowa would be a good play choice for you guys. We haven't figured out where you are stream his counterpart, Exuma, or Eve are at the moment. I am trying my be the best I can. Rage's counterpart walked past the monitor and saw Sorin and his counterpart. Hey guys, he said. Finally we can talk again. <clears throat> Sorin's counterpart went away to work on more of the equipment. Sorin looked at Rage. Rage, the mission's changed, he said. As of now, we need to protect this world. What about our world, he asked him. Our friends are counting on us to return. They have to rely on themselves, Soren told him. We'll see if we can contact the others on our end. We'll make a plan to rendezvous at a loca location. Copy that, Rage said. The call ended, and Soren hung his head in sadness. Soren's counterpart came over with another laptop. I got the others on the line, he told him. They said they'll meet here. Soren looked at, up and nodded. Let's get ready, he said. They met the chosen crafters outside of the compound. Exuma stared at the compound, astounded. I have been searching for your whereabouts, he told Soren. You actually vanished. How in the world does this exist? Eve examined the compound structure. Its material consists of metals that can cloak us. She told everyone, we'll be safe here. I'm guessing Soren's counterpart knew about this place. They looked at Soren's counterpart. This is one of the compounds used in the great spiritual war, he told them. Its metal com is composed of spiritual energy. I have made sure to, it, to protect us from any threat. We should head inside, Xuma told them. My scanners indicate a storm coming. They headed inside and locked the doors. In the dungeons of Morpheus' castle, Herobrine meditated in his change. Gathering strength, beside him, Irene wept silently. You shouldn't cry, Herobrine told her. I'll get us out. How? she asked. Morpheus took your powers. He doesn't know about the powers I possess, Hillbrine said quietly. He closed his eyes and broke the change, chains. He rushed to Irene and shot the chains. She fell to the floor and he caught her. She looked at him in shock. That's God-level powers, she said. You've been training for this battle. Alarms blared and spirits came into the room. They locked their weapons onto them. Hillbrine, Irene said. We're surrounded. Herobrine smiled and did a wrist movement. They were teleported to a nearby portal. Irene stumbled from the sudden transport. We need to get to the real world, Herobrine told her. The chosen crafters are going to help. He helped her to her feet and they went into the portal. <clears throat> Morpheus heard the news of Herobrine and Irene's escape. He roared in anger and threw a pillar. 
I had that minor goddess within my grasp, he muttered. Now she'll do whatever she can to help the chosen crafters. <clears throat> Morpheus knew that he couldn't go to the real world, not for another five years. He gazed into the crystal ball and saw who could. Time for a little bit of fun, he said. <clears throat> the chosen crafters sat down in the meeting room, discussing ways to protect the real world. We could use our magic. Eve said. <clears throat> I mean, they don't know about it, and it would be effective. That would be short-term protection, Eli Stream told her. What we need is armor and elytra wings. Hit the enemy hard and fast. No, Rach said. We need guns. This world consists of them. <clears throat> what do you think, Sorin? Xuma asked. <clears throat> I think we do all three ideas, Sorin told them. We use the magic to enchant the armor... Electro wings and guns. We then protect this world by any means necessary. The chosen crafters agreed with the idea. They gathered their armor and chanted it to the highest tier. Sorin grabbed his guard, god armor and came out of his room. Everyone stared at him. Time to make history, he said. <clears throat> The Chosen Crafters chose areas to protect. Eero Stream and Eve chose to protect Australia. Xuma chose to protect the United Kingdom. Rage and his counterpart chose to protect the west coast of the United States. And Sorin and his counterpart chose to protect the Midwest and the southeastern United States. Everything was quiet. A little too quiet. Sorin know, knew all this too well. He gazed at the night sky. Then at the streets of Minnesota. He then looked at Scanner. Status report. He said, Everything's quiet, said Rage. I would have thought that Morpheus would have made an attack by now. Something's not right, Exuma told them. Morpheus has the power to go to other realms. Why isn't he coming? Sorin then saw a portal open up in front of him. He raised his weapon, but that he then saw who it was. Herobrine came through, carrying Irene. Soaring rushed to help. I need medical help in my location, Soaring told everyone. Herobrine, what happened? Morpheus had us locked up, Herobrine said grimly. He tortured us to the brink of death. I chose to use my god powers, but Irene is close to dying. Soaring and I looked at Irene. Her aura was fading quickly. Even a UI stream was, were the first ones to teleport to the scene. Lady Irene! Eri Stream yelled, this can't be happening. <clears throat> Eve gave Irene a potion of healing. Her aura became stronger and she opened her eyes. You all saved me, she said. She then looked around. I cannot be here, she said. Morpheus will, be, will come here to destroy us all, even if he has five years to prepare. Then it's five years to per up for us to prepare as well, Sorin told her. We'll need all the help we can get. Xuma teleported and saw Eve. Not Eve, Irene. They understood what was about to happen. Xuma sent out a distress call to the other crafters. <clears throat> Cub sat at the control room when he got the distress call from Earth. Xuma need our, needs our help, he said. I need to alert the others. He rushed to the other hermits and told them the news. If Morpheus is preparing for an all-scale war, said Grian, then we'll need to step up our game. <clears throat> I agree, said Mumble. Redstone isn't going to work in our favor anymore. We're going to need something extra. Etho came into the room with the TNT mod. I think this will help, he said. Found this in the secret room. Mumbo examined the mod. Brilliant, he said. This is going this is by far going to defeat Morpheus. You should look at the fine print, Mumbo, Grian told him. It clearly states that this mod is unstable. We shouldn't use it. These are desperate times, Cub said. I suggest we use it. 
Mumble went over to the controls and inserted the mod. TNT transformed to different uses. Grab some TNT, Mumbo told them, then alert the others. We're taking the battle to Morpheus. The Chosen Crafters and Irene arrived back at the bunker, where they got an update on the Hermits preparing for an assault. They're preparing for a suicide mission, Soren exclaimed. We need to stop them. Even with the TNT mod, Morpheus is unstoppable. Soaring, relax, Gizuma told him. The Hermits can do this. Flank him while he is weakened. Then we can strike the final blow. Zoin's anger faded, and he nodded. Irene, what do you suggest? He asked her. You all should head back to the Minecraft realm, she told them. Herobrine and I will remain here. Zoin looked at the others. They were ready to go back. He grabbed his weapon and gazed at the portal. Let's go, he told everyone. They arrived back in the Minecraft realm and saw the hermits. Xuma approached them and caught them up to speed. Morpheus is weakened, he told them. He tried to get into Earth's realm just several months ago. We've been laying low just since then, protecting Earth. Things went quiet here, Mumbo told him. We're all thinking that Morpheus will set out an all-scale war on us first. Let me see the mod, Xuma said. Mumbo showed him the mod, and Exuma raised his eyebrows. This does not bode well, he muttered. This mod hasn't been used in decades. I fear it's irrelevant. We'll have to use another approach. Sorin scanned the mod and searched up mods, other mods they could use. Minecraft has changed drastically for, throughout the years. Mods were not only a, weren't allowed in the game. In fact, they were illegal. Using even a tiny mod to change how your world would look wouldn't just get you banned from the world. It would also get you killed. Sorry knew the risks they would have to take. The original creators of Minecraft were long gone. Sorry knew what mod to use. Summon original creators, yelled Sorry. The creators of Minecraft were summoned. They opened their eyes and saw what had become of Minecraft. What happened? asked Jeb. We left this hands in the hands of someone who, that could protect everyone. Indeed, said Grom. Looks as though we have been summoned to fix the mistake. They looked at the chosen crafters and understood. I see, Jeb said quietly. Dinnerbone, prepare the mods. We're going to attack. But the game can't do mods, Dan Bode said. We'll be killed. Sorry, you summoned the creators, Kazuma exclaimed. No one's ever done that before. Jeb turned to Sorry. You should have told me that Minecraft was in danger, Jeb told, said to him. We would have come to help. You all re were retired, Sorry said. I couldn't let you guys get hurt. Jeb chuckled. A noble warrior, Jeb said with a twinkle in his eye. Herobrine came forward, looking at Jeb. Jeb, Herobrine said with distaste. Herobrine, said Jeb, nodding. I got spirits coming our way, Herobrine told him. I just got my god powers again, yet I don't know if it's going to be enough. We kept you hidden in the dark for too long, my friend, Jeb said. It's time that the world knew about you. <clears throat> Jeb summoned a holographic keyboard and typed in a code. Herobrine then was given full access to his powers. There, now you can fight with full power, Jeb told him. Herobrine's eyes turned gold and he saw the spirits a few miles away. He disappeared and reappeared. They're taken care of, Herobrine told him. Din and Bone and Grum took out the mods and prepared to launch the codes into Minecraft. <clears throat> Grum, you ready? Din and Bone asked. Yeah, said Grum. Just need to put the finishing touches. They launched the codes and everything froze. They all looked around. Did we do it? Eve asked. <clears throat> the realm restarted 
and everything looked different. It was looked as though they went back in time. Jeb looked at his watch. We're in 2024, he said. We're in the year that it all started. Sorry knew what this meant. We're meant to kill Hades in a different way, he said. This way, Morpheus would be on our side, and we wouldn't be betrayed. <clears throat> they all looked at each other and knew that they would have to help their past selves. 2024 Soaring and EY Stream were at Gold Castle with Ella and Ethan. Just like in the original timeline, they were preparing to go to the real world. Ella, Ethan, Soaring told them, head into the bunker. Hades won't be able to get in there. You should be safe. Ella and Ethan nodded and headed to the bunker. Soaring looked at EY Stream. The portal to the real world is a lot more dangerous than the nether portals. He told him, you'll need to stay close to me. Eri Stream nodded. President Day Soaring and Eri Stream saw them heading for the portal. They're heading for the portal to the real world, he said quietly. I'm sure that in 30 minutes, Tess Steve will likely be in the real world with our past selves. We need to follow them, Eri Stream said. <clears throat> Sorry nodded. They rushed into the portal a few seconds after the past selves disappeared. They, re they appeared into the real world and saw them getting on the bus. They then saw Test Steve getting on at the last second. We just missed the bus, Eway Stream said. How are we going to alert them? Leave that to me, Soaring told, them, told him. Soaring teleported them to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Eway Stream leaned on a street lamp, holding his stomach. I forgot you could do that, he said. They saw the bus pull up, and their past selves got off. <clears throat> they saw past Test Steve follow them. We need to follow them and prevent the timeline from happening in a certain way. <clears throat> Sorry, told EY Stream. EY Stream nodded, and they followed them. They reached the alley where their past selves had Test Steve at gunpoint. Oh no, Sorry whispered. We're too late. Not if I can help it, Eurostream said quietly. He reached into in his bag and threw a smoke grenade. Testy then fled the scene, while their past selves scanned the area. Search the area, past Soaring ordered. I sense that one another one of Hades' minions is here. <clears throat> past EY Stream summoned a laser gun, which EY Stream didn't even know he had. Oh, this is bad. Eero Stream whispered to Sorin, I think we screwed up the timeline. Past Eero Stream looked up and saw them. He blasted the building and the two fell onto the pavement. Past Sorin wa casually walked to them. Looks like we have unwanted time travelers, he snarled. How should we kill them? Seems like we should kill them slowly and painfully, Eero Stream suggested. They let Test Steve get away. Their past selves look different. Eurostream's blue on his clothes were stained with blood, and Sorin didn't have that friendly glow to him. What happened? Sorin asked. How did you guys become like this? Their past selves looked at them puzzled. They then realized who they were. You guys are from a different part of the multiverse, past Eurostream said. I'm guessing a part where you guys defeated... Hades. Wait, Eurostream said. A different part of the multiverse? <laughs> Soren looked at Apocalypse Soaring, and they both nodded. Eurostream, Soren said, I think after that after our world got reset, we have were transported to an apocalyptic world. <clears throat> we need to get you both to your world as quick as possible, Apocalyptic Soaring said. In this world, Hades is a hundred times stronger. He's already killed the Hermits, Rage and his family, Eurostream's friends, and the OG crafters. Eurostream and I have already tried using the spirit weapons, but he's gained the, too much power. What about Eve and Testive? Eurostream asked. In our world, Testive is scared of losing me. 
the hold that Hades has on him has really made it impossible for inside help. Apocalyptic US stream told him told them Eve is also being controlled. I can't leave a world. Soren said, not without helping it. Soren summoned his armor, and apocalyptic Soren looked at him in shock. How did you do that? he asked. In my world, Irene gave me an upgrade, he told him. Apocalyptic Soren stared at the ground somberly. Irene's dead in this world, he said. She was the first person that Hades killed. <clears throat> they heard a loud thunder rumble and looked at the sky. A portal had opened up. This is it, Apocalyptic Soren said. The final fight, Soren agreed. Let me take the lead on this one. I know how to defeat Hades once and for all. <clears throat> and that will be it for part one of the last Minecrafters War Between Worlds. I hope you guys enjoyed part one. Part two will come next week. This is Sorry Majesty signing off.